Good evening and welcome to Metro Focus. I'm Rafael Piroman. In New York City's prestigious specialized high schools, one test, the SHSAT, completely determines who gets in and who gets rejected. Some New York politicians think it's time to change that. Mayor Bill de Blasio, for example, has proposed eliminating the test, which he claims serves as a barrier to minority students, many of whom are not able to afford expensive test prep courses and tutors. So the mayor's plan would significantly increase the number of black and Latino students at these high schools. It would decrease the number of Asian American students, a minority group which has become the majority in these schools because they consistently score well on the standardized test. New York State Assembly member Rodney's Bichat has proposed her own plan to increase diversity in the elite schools, and she joins us now to discuss that proposal and the future of the SHSAT. Assembly Member Bishop, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. So, Assembly okay. Member, uh, please give us your bill of particulars against the <laughs> SHSAT and tell us about your own proposal to mm -hmm. diversify the elite schools. Well, um, first, thank you, Rafael, for having me. First, we have to recognize that we have 67% black and Latinos who are attending the public schools, and only 9% are getting into these elite specialized high schools. So what we want to do, we want to have equal access across all of New York City. We're trying to make this program equal and fair. We have a number of black and Latino students who are excelling, but they're just not applying. They're not taking the test. Many of them are not even aware that they could even take the test. So we're proposing that we do away with the test, and if not, make the test not be the only singular uh, requirement to get into the schools. So how do you respond to those who say that if you eliminate the SHSAT or, or water it down, mm -hmm. that uh, academic, academic standards would decrease in these schools? Well, they have to understand that, again, the test should not be the sole mm -hmm. requirement. Um, and they should understand and look at other institutions like Harvard, um, Harvard Law, uh, Chicago, University of Chicago, they're not even looking at these standardized tests. Yeah. They're, they're looking at a, a more holistic process. They want a well-rounded yeah. student who can bring value to, to the school. So I don't think um, eliminating the tests or even yeah. making the test a percentage, which is also one of my proposals, yeah. maybe 20 percent of the whole application process, uh, would be watering down necessarily yeah. the test. They have to come up to speed with where our country is at today. Well, you know, as I said in the introduction, uh, your proposal, the mayor's proposal, they would all increase the number of African American and Latino, exactly. but would decrease the number of Asian Americans. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and the critics say, you know, you're pitting um, minority groups against each other. How do you respond to that? Well, I say, for, for one, I think we are all one. It's unfortunate that many members of our community in particular the Asian American, they had no choice but to start a system where they had to practice, practice, mm. practice. They had no choice because, mm. again, um, they too were being discriminated, yeah. you know. And so they found a way to take the test. But we do not want to encourage parents or students to build a whole life learning cycle around prepping for a test. Yeah. We want each child to have a real life experience. Now, yeah, but for, for the sake of time, let me just move on to a, a, another big uh, mm -hmm. concern or criticism. You know, some people say that with all its profound problems, mm -hmm. admittance through the SHSAT mm -hmm. is at least an objective criteria. That if you begin to interject um, subjective, holistic criteria, then that's when these criteria can become can be manipulated to exclude some people and to allow some people in as happened in the 20s and 30s when Jews were be, mm -hmm. numbers of Jews were beginning to increase mm -hmm. in the Ivy League schools. Mm -hmm. uh, they had a standardized test because they were passing it mm -hmm. more. And then suddenly they created other criteria like personality qualities mm -hmm. and they used those as the, as the basis to reduce the number of Jews. It's the same thing mm -hmm. that uh, people are saying Harvard was doing to mm -hmm. the Asian American right. communities, a lawsuit mm -hmm. about that. Right. Isn't there a better way? I think right now we have to address the current crisis, which is a huge disparity. I mean, yeah. you can't have only 10 students 
Uh, you're right. <laughs> to be admitted you're to right. Stuyvesant, who are black and Latino. It just makes yeah. no sense. Yeah, 10% out of 66%. Uh, it, 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 it just makes no sense, yeah, right. There's and a problem, so, obviously. So, so I don't think so. I yeah. think a lot of these students who haven't been offered the opportunity to be at these specialized yeah. high schools, who are doing very well, yeah. um, may not have had the, the resources, the funds. And, and, you know, they do compare well in some of the Asian community. Um, you know, they're poor, which is true. Right. But, you know, there is a value system um, that's in place in certain areas where in the African-American, you have a lot of high eviction rate, you have racial profiling, sure. you have a lot of discriminatory practices constantly in the black and Latino. Um, but, uh, assembly but let me propose some of the things some some uh, uh, elected officials and mm -hmm. others agree with you 100 percent about mm -hmm. the problem uh, of the test as it is. But they say there are alternatives to eliminating it. There's things you can do. Mm -hmm. For example, one proposal is just increase the number of these specialized schools. That's not Double them or triple them. That's one. Mm -hmm. Another is provide prep test courses and tutors to all students across the, the public school system, uh, for example. Those are, those are just two examples. And three is for the kids who don't even know about the test, you know, give the test to all the students during regular school hours. You, you don't think any one of those no. proposals answer that? Raphael, the, with all due respect, we've increased the number of specialized high schools from four to nine. And still, we're at nine. We're, we're st it was that nine percent. Yeah. In terms of fixing the middle school, that's a long term game. Uh, we need to address the crisis right now. Um, and again, the test is culturally biased. Yeah. That's another issue. And that's why you have that institutions. Mean? That means that it's written subjectively. OK, sometimes the way things are phrased, you know, s students in certain areas may not understand how you word this or how you phrase this, things of that nature. Um, that may be a problem. We're almost out of time, so let me just ask a question, which you alluded to. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter how diversified you make these elite mm -hmm. schools, it's still only 5% of the <laughs> entire student population of New York City. Exactly. So then we have to go back yes. to the perennial and painful question, which exactly. is, what do we do to improve the quality of education to, to provide excellence mm -hmm. for all the students of New York City? Well, you know what? It takes a whole comprehensive plan. That's housing. That's um, economic um, development. That's, um, you know, our health care. Everything around um, our neighborhoods really impact the schools that we have. You know, for many, many years before the de Blasio administration, um, we had previous mayors who killed institutionally and segregated our schools even more than it is. So de Blasio, unfortunately, came in with a mess, mm -hmm. okay, and he's fixing that. His goal and our goal is to address immediately and target all middle schools across the board, white, black, Asian, Latino, whatever. Everybody will have uh, an opportunity to go, top 7%, to go to these specialized high schools. Listen, we're, we're, we're almost completely out of time, so I'm okay. sorry to have to cut you okay, off. Okay, no problem, no problem, no This is an no incredibly problem. important issue. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us today. No, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me.